Hola guys. What is what is this? What is what is Oh I'm catching rays. What is that? Why is it glowing? It's obviously my light up above. Am I making y'all dizzy? Hey, it's content because I don't have any. Um I don't have much to show y'all. But I know y'all have noticed that it's at least a 30 something minute video. So you're like, huh? Then what the heck are you here for? You guys, I went to three thrift stores since I last saw y'all. This is bothering me. Hold please. Okay, I had to get rid of the halo. It's kind of driving me a little bonkers. Okay, what was I saying? Yes, I don't have much to show you guys because I went thrifting uh, three times since I've seen you guys. I went to Thrift Town, I went to Thrift Mart, and I went to Goodwill, and I bought one thing. I don't know what is going on at the thrift stores, or I did go exhausted after work, so maybe that had something to do with it because the last two weeks at work have been something straight out of horror movies i kid y'all not if it's not weirdo people roaming the halls of the hospital it's uh, just kind of sad spooky things going on with our patients and mentally i i have not been in a good headspace so i would try and do retail therapy and i found nothing so i really don't have much to show you guys uh in this intro but i do have a whole lot of stuff i'm going to show you guys later uh, after this little snippet because I have been cleaning like a lunatic. I woke up this morning bound and determined to get something done in my garage which I've been wanting to do for months uh, but this is the first time that the garage wasn't freezing or sweltering hot in quite a while so I went back there and basically separated trash from keep and sort later. Uh, and that's in this video. Uh, after the garage I came into the house and went through my makeup, went through my jewelry and um what else? Makeup, jewelry, and I think that's it. Oh, books. And I put that on here. Uh, not because I knew I wasn't going to have much to do, but just because, why not? We share. Uh, but yeah, I went to Dollar Tree also a few times and only bought stuff that I needed. So there's nothing really cute. I went again today because I ran out of trash bags after all that nonsense in the garage. So I went to Dollar Tree today and I found a few little things, but it's nothing major. I found this big old honkin' box of little Dutch made saltines. Got my trash bags. And those are doing really, really well. Considering they're only a buck, they hold a lot of stuff pretty good. And I need to get back in there. I don't know when I'm gonna get back in that garage, but I need to get back in there and went ahead and grab some more. And then I found these two little cute things. Uh, I actually found this the other day at um, Dollar Tree. I forgot what day it was. It was someday last week. But I'm so dumb because I've been seeing them this way for the longest time, sitting up like this with the hole. And I was like, what is what what is what what is going on here? What is the purpose of this? Are you supposed to put a tea light in there? That that's ugly. What I don't get it. Then I went into another Dollar Tree and saw these and some gold ones sitting up like this and I felt like an idiot because oh it's just a little bubble heart I don't know if it's a paperweight I don't know if it's just like a table scatter I don't know but it was cute so I grabbed one silver and then today uh, when I went in for my trash bags I found these little things which were new and I figured these will come in handy because um it is hard to carry your soup bowl out of the microwave when it's hot. You know, you got to get your little a dish towel or paper towels or whatever. And um, I just thought these were cute. Soup bowl cozy carry your hot soup from microwave to table. And they had black and white checker and red and white checker. And this is just so classic and cute. So I went ahead and got two of those. I don't know if my bowls will fit. I don't know if y'all know, but Latinos have huge bowls because we eat pozole and menudo and a little bowling and a cut it for stuff like that so we'll see if that'll be of any use and then I bought one of these 
another one of these. Apparently this is my third one. I found out as I was cleaning out my makeup drawer that I have three of the Wet n Wild dark wine. My cat is on crack tonight. I'm not sure what has gotten into him. But this is the third dark wine I have purchased. There's something really, really wrong with me that I cannot keep up with what I've bought. Um, that was it. That's all. Maybe pickings will be better next week for Dollar Tree or for thrift stores if I'm able to get out to the thrift store. I did find one thing at a thrift store. At a thrift mart, I think. I found this little lantern. It's so cute. And it was $3.93. And y'all know my cheap, but struggled with that. Okay? I struggled. But there was nothing there. And I thought this was really cute. So I got that. And that was it. It was so weird. When, when Little Dude and I went to Goodwill, we walked around and around and around. Could not believe we didn't find anything. And then um, I went to Thrift on, on my own and found nothing. And then I went to Thrift Mart with Little Dude and found that thing. I mean, he didn't even find random bags of toys or whatever. But anywho. We're six minutes and 30 seconds in here, so let me tell y'all, um, I'm gonna end this little snippet of it and then mush in the decluttering and then what I can only describe as a mini episode of Hoarders, because I took you guys into the garage with me and I don't know if I should have. I hope I don't regret it. Be nice. But yeah, I took you guys into my garage. And it's a work in progress, so just remember that. Um, but until I see you guys again, thanks for watching. Hold on a second. Y'all know I got to get little dude in on this. Hello. To my next go around, little dude and I are tired and exhausted and we're going to relax now. But until we see you guys again, thanks for watching. Bye. Good night. Guys, I am going to go through my jewelry because I am on this cleaning kick that started early this morning after I watched Hoarders. I'm not kidding. Um, this is my little DIY um, jewelry trunk that I made out of a real trunk. Um, I hang a picture in front of it just to make it look not so trunky. But um, yeah... <laughs> I DIY'd it quite a long time ago and this is what the inside looks like and believe it or not I've sorted this stuff a few times but just because I feel really energized I am going to go through it again uh, I just basically put in see those little hooks uh, and put these uh, little metal grids that were actually a shelf for my oldest room uh, I had that shelf in the garage it's those cube shelves I don't know if I'm describing it correctly but it's a bunch of these little wire things that connect together to make cubes and then those cubes snap together and I had that shelf in different areas of the house for the longest time and then I broke it apart to save space and I ended up using it for here and you see how it hangs the um Y'all see my reflection? Hello. Um, it hangs jewelry really, really well. So, hey, there's my little stylo. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of slapped together. Wow, look at the dust. Kind of slapped together and thrown together and whatever I could use, things like this for hanging jewelry. I did, but it's a few of these. There's quite a few of them. There's like, I don't know if you guys can see back there. There are one, two, three of these little racks on here. And they all have necklaces hanging from them. I used vases and candlestick holders. See? Vases. To put my bracelets on. Um... Yeah, that's another vase. Uh, back there are all those clearance uh, statement necklaces that Walmart had on clearance. Really, really crazy like last year. Um, 
they'd put them out for five dollars and then later on they were down to three so i got quite a few of those back there so i'm gonna sort through here and uh just get rid of some stuff um and we'll see the little pile i end up with to donate or give away if y'all are interested Okie dokie, here is the little pile of things that I am getting rid of. I liked all this stuff at one time, but now, uh, not so much. I'm kind of like a cat if it sparkles and makes noise. I really like it. Um, I love the jewels, but I don't like the plastic thingy it's on. At first when I saw it, I was like, that is such an interesting little design. But... Yeah, ain't really feeling it anymore. Excuse me, Osball. So that's going. Um, these I liked at one point because of the spikies. This cat has been chewing all over this stuff. It's ridiculous. No, sir, you're gonna choke yourself. Um, but they look cheap, and they are cheap. Most of this stuff I got at um, Dollar Jewelry Galore or. Shop Miss A, or you know, I just found randomly. No, sir, no. And um, they're a little too young for me with the spike and the little, the little bobble. I just ain't feeling the bobble and this cat. Excuse me, kitty. These are funny looking and they're changing. I liked them originally because of the little. Look at it. It's kind of like a little nest. Can I focus, you guys? There's too much going on. Um, it's like a little cluster of um, meshy netting. But they're changing colors, and they smell funny. Have you guys ever noticed how this cheap metal has kind of a penny smell? That's not a good thing. Uh, yeah, just a lot of stuff that I I really like this bracelet when I saw it I saw it on shop miss a and they were sold out and then I found it at my beauty supply store for a dollar as well and I bought it and it is the most ridiculous thing on so that's going this thing is changing colors it's a choker with a little swirly heart and I loved the little swirly heart but it's changing colors so gotta go not cute. It's really cute, but gotta go. I don't know where I got these from. I grabbed them because I loved the color. That's my favorite color in the whole wide world. Is that lilac or lavender? But look at them. This just screams Mrs. Roper. So those are going. I also got this on Shop Miss A. I was so happy when they were finally selling it again, but it's really kind of heavy. And the gold was not a good looking gold and it's kind of darker in here in the grooves. It just screams super duper cheap um, overlay. Granted, like I said, it is a dollar, but cheap doesn't have to look cheap. It's really pretty, but there's too much going. It's, it, it's too much bling, too much cheap bling. Does that make sense? Even for me, it, it's too much cheap bling, so that's going. I don't know what I was thinking when I picked this brown bracelet. Brown? Uh, I like the shape, but brown? That's going. This thing came attached to a blouse that my sister gave me. Uh, I still have the blouse, but um, this seemed really pretty, but it's just plastic and weird so that's going um i saw this at a thrift store and i really really liked it i love the color of the stones i think what i'm gonna do is bust it and keep the stones i might do something oh my gosh guys i was cleaning the garage sorry about the filthy nails before somebody says something i was cleaning the garage earlier but yeah i like the stones on here the colors are so pretty so i don't know i'm kind of thinking i'll keep this i don't know i may keep it i'm not sure 
This is another one of those little things that was uber cheapy looking. I loved it when I first saw it, but it's kind of been sitting in there. And yeah, I like the little stones. I like the white and the silver. It's very pretty, very wintry, but it just screams super cheap and it looks really cheap on. So that's going. And uh, this thing. I've had this for a really long time, and I loved it because it reminded me of the 80s, and I love the 80s. Um, and this is another one of those things that I keep putting back in my little trunk because I, I want it, then I don't want it, then I want it, then I don't want it. I love the black and white. Black and white is classic. You can't go wrong with this. Okay, so this and this may go back again. As they usually do. But all these other little things. Well, not my stylo. I've been looking for that thing forever. All these other little things are going. Let's see what else I can get myself into. I wanted to go through my books. Okay. Now here is my book stash. And believe it or not, guys, this is pared down. I have a lot of books in the garage that I've read that I just don't know what to do with. It's too expensive to ship them to my fellow book lovers. Um, they're too heavy to carry over to half price books and do a trade-in or a in-store credit kind of thing. And there are some in here that I have read and need to go in that been there, done that pile I have in the garage. So I'm gonna go through here and see if I can pull out the ones that I have read and see what I'm gonna do with them. Okay, <laughs> I didn't get rid of much. Turns out uh, I do have most of my red ones already in the garage. I did find two books that I have dupes of, This Heavy Silence and Recipes for Disaster. And I do that because the deals at Dollar Tree are so awesome that I forget what books I've already bought sometimes, so. This, these two are dupes. Salt, sugar, fat. This was a very, very interesting read. It's how marketing and advertising got us hooked on all this stuff. Um, six weeks to OMG, get skinnier than all your friends. This seems like an interesting read, but really, if you're going to do this kind of thing with YouTube so available to everybody it's just best to go online and watch people meal prep or watch people do workouts and you can work out with them but I didn't even make it all the way through uh, just because I realized I could have got all this crap on YouTube so um that's that uh, I got some Kevin Trudeau books and I got these for my mother and honestly forgot to give them she's all into reading about natural cures and and um, homeopathic and all that uh, natural stuff, and I totally forgot to give those to her, so those are going to her. Firefly Lane, one of the best books ever. Uh, this was one of the ones that was so hard for me to put in the garage and exile to the red pile, but um, it's time. Uh, sea Glass also was one of the ones that I held on to because it was such a good read, but that's going in the garage. This Great Hymns of the Faith was actually in that little desk when we found it on the curb. Yes, those are going in the trash. <laughs> those. Um, this um, little hymn book was in there. And I hate to throw it away because it's old. The pages are yellowed. You probably aren't picking up the yellowness of it all. But... There are some great hymns in here and just the fact that somebody lovingly took care of it and wrote little notes and and you know folded pages this book was special to somebody and I know that the lady who lived there is no longer with us and it's old and tattered but I just I held on to it out of respect for what it is and out of respect for the owner you could tell she just really really loved it so uh this may go in the garage uh, but I don't know that I will toss it. Driving with the top down also stayed in here because it was a really good read and I didn't want it ruined. But not buddy, you guys, my son who is 20, uh, checked this book out of the library for a book report in the 
eighth grade, you guys, and he lost it. Could not find it. I ended up paying for the book um, because, well, we lost it and we couldn't return it. And when he left for boot camp, basic training. I've been told to say basic training, not boot camp, because boot camp is where wayward kids who <laughs> act up go. Uh, but when he left for basic training, I found it in his stuff. So, but this is a really good book, you guys. If you have not read Bud Not Buddy, if you don't remember this from school, it is such a good book. If you have school age kids, this book is so awesome. So I, I already paid for it, so I'm keeping it. And then, thank you notes, Jimmy Fallon. Thank you notes. The little funny thank you notes he reads on his show. I found this at the Dollar Tree, and it was hilarious. But I've already read it, and it's going in the garage. So. That's the stuff that's going somewhere in a pile back there. So now I am going to do my makeup drawer. Yes, I'm going to check out my makeup. I know you guys don't see me dutied up. Um, if you see me on Facebook, every now and then again, you'll see me post a picture up of where I just happen to be out somewhere. And... Um, are these the same color? They are. And you want to know something? I just went to the Dollar Tree today, and if this is deep wine, I bought three of them. It is deep wine. I have three of these now. What is wrong with me? Anywho, this is exactly why I'm going through my makeup drawers because I have dupes of stuff. I have stuff that probably expired by now. Sorry, the dust from the garage is affecting me. Uh, so I'm going to go through my makeup. I have makeup here. I have makeup in here. But these are my tried and trues. This is what I wear on the regular. Um, yeah. So... I have palettes in here. I'm scared to move anything because I might knock something over, but oops. Yeah, I have palettes in here. And these are some of my favorites. Um, these are some of my favorites. These are my favorite brushes. Just lots of random palettes. Some I use when I feel like being dolled up. And gorgeous some like this that I've never opened but I didn't want to lose it's just that type of thing in here so I know this is gonna stay in here these are my tried and trues my go-to's when I feel like really dolling myself up I use these then I have in here am I zoomed in why is it I have these little thingies full of makeup and whatnot. I love this palette. Um, it's a cheapy palette, but it is such a good dupe for the uh, naked palette. I'm not kidding you guys. That is such a good friggin' dupe for the naked. And um, yeah, these are some more of my go-tos when I want to feel especially pretty. I'll come in here. And in here, here are my lashes. Every now and then I will do my lashes. If I'm going somewhere, on the rare occasion when I do go out with the girls, whatever, I definitely do my lashes and my contacts and all that. But I like to have this just in case. And I go through it very regularly because makeup does expire. And you don't want to end up trying to be cute one day and you end up jacking your eyeballs up or your skin up because your crap is expired. I don't buy expensive. I could, but <laughs> I don't wear enough of it to really buy expensive. So it's just random little Dollar Tree finds or, or Walmart Target clearance or, you know, clearance at the mall kind of things. But it's all cheap, but it's all good. And I have been through this recently, so everything in here is still good. Okay, guys, I also have a makeup hoard in my son's bathroom because I sometimes get ready up here and I like to have makeup up here. I recently, I'm breathing heavy. I just ran up these stairs. Um, I recently did a clear out in here of, 
eyeshadows that I no longer wear, but I haven't touched the lippies. And uh, my blushes, I did a real quick run through. I don't have a lot of them, but these are the ones that were not expired. These are the ones that I really like to use. These are the ones I kept. But the lips, I need to go through. I might do another quick run through on these because some of these I don't use. Like I said, I bought them because they were cheap. But um, some of these I'm pretty sure are dupes. But yeah, I'm going to do a makeup de-stash. Is that a word? De-stash? I'm going to go through this stuff. Okay, not much. <laughs> I did find these body lotions and shampoo and conditioner from Windstar that I brought back with me from my birthday last year. So August last year. And then the only stuff that I am going to probably, I'm going to see, these are brand new, but they're dupes. And I love these particular colors, but, um, Apparently, I duped them because I'm currently using some, and I found these brand new. So, these aren't getting tossed. Uh, they're still good. But, uh, I showed you guys these. The Dark Wine uh, Lipsticks, the Dollar Tree, the new Wet n Wild packaging. I haven't used them. I'm trying to think. Nope, I haven't even swatched them. But I loved them, and I wanted to go, like, bolder with my reds, especially for the winter, and I ended up with three. I kid you not, I just bought one. Depending on when I put this little video together or how I put this video together, you've already seen that I just bought another one. So, I've never used them. They are open, so I'm not tossing those. This has never been used. I bought it on a whim at the grocery store of all places because I liked the purples and browns. I like the way these colors look against brown eyes, but I've never used it, and more than likely, I don't know, but more than likely, it's probably already expired. I have some whim purchases that I bought uh, because I think they're nice when I see them, plus these are usually on clearance at Target, and these colors are not good on me. I don't know who they would be good on. A Barbie doll? But, you know, I just love that they were on clearance and they were NYX. And I like NYX products, so... But yeah, these don't work on me. This one right here was... Um, I tried it on, actually, so that's already touched my mouth. Um, but this one wasn't even swatched. I just opened it and I was like, uh, nope. So... This may find its way to somebody or, I don't know, maybe I can donate to a women's shelter or, I don't know. I'm sure women at women's shelters have way bigger issues than not having lipstick, but, you know, I just hate for it to go to waste. Fantabulous Lipstick. This is by J Cats, and I love this brand. I buy it at my beauty supply store, but again, what was I thinking? Is this crazy <laughs> orange color, and I did try it. I may have even worn it once or twice, but now it doesn't work on me, so that's going away. This I found uh, at the very, very bottom of my eyeshadow stash. This is old as the hills, so that's being tossed. This LA Colors I bought as a highlighter because I really thought as light as they were, it would be a nice... Uh, highlighter but they go on real weird they go on real I don't even know how to describe it, it the, the, it's just it grows on really gross very very powdery it doesn't blend well it's really gross so that's being tossed to these guys y'all remember these from Dollar Tree the little uh, powder pots I liked the product but they make a big giant mess and this is one of the ones that I hardly ever used my intention was to use this for like a smoky look or eyeliner but it is so hard to work with and all powdery and gross so that's going away these right here were my intent to be um, resourceful with my lipsticks you know when you use your lipstick down to the very very bottom and you have that last little bit that you can scoop out uh, with like a lip brush or whatever well 
I figured I could take them out of the tube and put them in these little thingies, but I did it so long ago that I don't dare put these on my mouth anymore. NYC, this was another uh, idea for a highlighter, but it doesn't go well with hardly any of the shades of blush that I use, so that's a toss. This is old as the hills. It was in the same spot with this. Look at this. Old as all get out. That's going. And then two more. What was I thinking with these color colors? Now, I tried this one on. Uh, it looked horrible on me. This one, I was able to work with a little gloss during the summer. So I did use this one a few times, but it's not my favorite. And it takes way too much uh, to make it look okay on my skin tone. So these are going. So all in all, this is what I have cleared out of my bathroom and my bedroom. Um, so in those house shoes, I was grooming fuzzball. I have decided to go ahead and get rid of these. Um, so yeah, this needs to go here. And um, yeah, considering as much stuff as I have, I really wish I could have dug uh, a better hole in all the stuff I have, but this is a start. Um, I was thinking maybe I could sell the jewelry at a garage sale, but quite honestly, I have a garage full of boxes meant for garage sale, and I haven't had a garage sale in two years. So I think it's just best for me to up and get rid of it. But... Um, that's a look into what I got myself into this Saturday. So I hope you guys are having an awesome weekend and I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye. Hi guys. Um, I'm probably opening up myself to all kinds of judgment and crazy comments, but I just wanted to come in my garage and show you guys <laughs> progress after four hours and to many of you this is going to look like an absolute disaster but if I can describe to you what it looked like before I got in here this morning you'd be like oh okay pretty good uh, this is a pile of trash that I need to bag up and stick with the giant pile of garbage I have on the other side but my back just would not let me um this is all stuff I am going to keep. It's just in a rather messy state. There's a set of drums that we're going to set up for little dude because he's showing interest in them. They were my oldest. A bike that I'm going to keep because everybody can use a bike. That box is all uh, spray paints and little um, crafty stuff. This is one of those pedal push ow, cat cars that belong to my oldest and now little dude is having fun with. This mattress needs to go in the garbage. It's just I have to schedule with the city I live in to pick up bigger things like that. But there's a lot of Christmas decorations. There's my steamer. This is stuff that I swap out in the house periodically. And these are just little things that I've decided at the, and you know, I've decided, boom, I'm keeping. And that's just the way it is. Uh, this is stuff that I was too exhausted to go through. So I still have to figure out keeping, donating, trashing, um, same here. Uh, I was able to separate it by picture frames, by bins, and I was able to separate it that way, but it's still very, very chaotic, very, very crazy. Um, a lot of this stuff, once I go through it, is going to go in the garbage. This stuff right here is all stuff that I have set up for yard sale all of these boxes at one point this entire wall was covered with boxes but i've lived here 16 years and i've had four or five yard sales and this is what i'm down to um this stuff i know it looks like a crazy chaotic mess but it's just toys it's big toys and children's stuff there is some knickknackery in here that i want to get rid of fans that type of thing but all of this stuff is for yard sale as well i just don't have boxes big enough for it and i was too exhausted today to really try and organize it in any kind of way but all of this all of this is yard sale stuff um the lamps and the tables i already have somebody coming to pick up uh very soon Stuff on the wall is for sale. Uh, the mirror is yard sale stuff. The books, those books are books that I cannot get rid of. My tried and trues, my favorites, that type of thing. Um, 
The back wall is just my yard stuff. All of this stuff, guys, all of this stuff is trash. This is what my four hours did. Now this book and this book I just bought out here right after I did my sort in the house. So these few books need to go up here because I told you guys I'm not getting rid of those. But all of these books, and I hate to throw books away, but all of these books have been read, reread, I've, you know, shared, and they're not going anywhere. They're going in the trash. Um, all of this, not my hangers. But all of this, the stuff in the box, the stuff in the bins, it's all trash, all of it. I had just thrifted this little plant not too long ago, and Ozzy knocked it over and broke the vase. And I was like, well, I could take the flowers out and redo it, but I know I won't. So I'm very honest with myself. That's a good thing. Y'all know I love stuff. It's obvious I love stuff, but I'm really good at throwing away what needs to be thrown away. Uh, so it's being thrown away. These two little things are not being thrown away. That is yard sale, the little Minnie Mouse, which I never found the bottom for, and my little plate thing. This actually belongs over here in this area, but for the most part, from here up is garbage. Come Tuesday, it's all on the curb, and it's all being thrown out. Um, I wanted to show you guys <laughs> the other side of what you all may not see. On my YouTube channel, Miss Audrey is out here. No, nope, I know, sacrilege. She shouldn't be out in the garage. But she's going back inside very, very soon, or she's going up on a wall just to be safe. But I was knocking around and banging around so many things in the house. I didn't want her to get mushed or, you know, have some ripper. So that's why she's here. But, yeah, I just wanted to show you another side of, uh, of me. For those of you that are curious... What does such an avid thrifter's home really look like? Well, y'all have seen my home. I've walked you all through my entire home. Uh, but here's my garage. This is my old car, actually. Uh, funny, I wrecked this car the very day I was going to the dealership to finalize the deal on the car I have now. I was about to pull in and boom, I got hit. So I kept it. It's actually being donated to Dallas Can. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just been sitting for four years. So who knows what's wrong with it now? So, uh, but Dallas Can Academy cares nothing about this. It's an academy here for at-risk youth that um, end up um, having to drop out of school or whatever. But they will take any car and fix it, and they are able to uh, provide the kids with the car or just they. I'm sorry, they sell the car, and then that money goes towards Dallas Can Academy. But anywho, I digress once again. All of that is going in the trash Tuesday. So I'll just have this to sort for yard sale. This is already sorted. Folks are already picking this stuff up. I need to do a resort on this and this. And then I'm done. Sweep up the joint. Um... Put this mattress out on the curb, and I'm done. It'll be a done deal in here, but yes, please don't judge me. Please don't be too harsh. We all have that one room or or that one area in our house that you'd never let company in, and I just let the whole world in <laughs> to my garage, but thanks for watching, guys. Love y'all bunches. Bye.